The Red Army's advance into Germany is swift and brutal. In mere months, we have reached Silo Heights, the last line of defense before the German capital. We outnumber the Germans ten to one. Wave upon wave of our infantry are unleashed upon them to clear the way for our armor. Once we have control of Seal, we will begin the march to Berlin. There, we will ensure that every sacrifice is repaid in blood. Alright, welcome back guys to Mission 4 and Call of Duty World at War Campaign on Recruit. I believe this is the first Russian mission. We started, it looks like we're, uh, we're about to be killed. We make a quick grab for the rifle, but they're not exactly <laughs> stupid. Though. Yeah. But... Thank God for Reznov, because he's busting us out of this. He's back from Black. Yeah, if any of you Ops. have uh, played Black Ops, yeah. you would know that he's in that game, which I actually like about Black Ops. That's one of the things I... It was alright, I guess, to include him. I don't know. It, it was kind of cool. Hands me the gun. Faster. And then you get split into two. Yeah, which me is kinda being neat. your second half. It's kinda neat. And then I start searching around because he told me that there was still a German that was alive, and I found him. <laughs> I was like, no, you punched me in the face, it's on. I ran up to an angry mob of Russians. I don't know, I think that was a nice thing Reznov did to come save just us. Yeah. Well, they can save me. You're just kind of afterthought. Yeah. But I'm just gonna, you know, bloat a little bit. So now here we got motion magnets. Which is a very powerful old action rifle. Uh -oh. Five round mag. Very slow reloading. But what some sexy reloading it is. Oh, yes. That's the thing I liked about this game for both action rifles, like in the single player and multiplayer. When they gave you it, you had to make sure each shot counted. Because yeah. you didn't have an automatic follow up shot. No, you had to uh, duck for cover afterwards. This is where it was pretty much just a chicken too. We had to kill all of the. That, er. Falling back Russians. Uh, we are the Russians. We are Russian in as Russian. So just like any other mission, you're killing and then moving forward. Yeah, very basic on uh, rookie. Holy, somebody swaps up, swaps the torque of hawk there. Just because look how sexy it is. I grab an MP40. I reload because that's just cool. I have an MP40 as well. Okay, you can go right behind them and they don't know what the fuck to do. But then, there again, for his grenades, you gotta watch out yeah. for those. Yeah, especially when you run forward like I tend to do a lot. So then I try to revive you there, but they almost shot me, so I'm like, not reviving your <laughs> kneecap this time. <laughs> My dick's in your face, just saying. <laughs> didn't have it any other way. I shoot a teammate. <laughs> well, you just, you revive one, so you're allowed to kill one. That's how it works in four. And then you're almost down again. It's those grenades, man. Yeah, the computer are really good at throwing grenades in this. Oh, I'm just really stupid. What's your opinion on the MP40? I really like it. I think it's alright. It's not my favorite, but I... I enjoy In it. In multiplayer, a lot of people think it's one of the best guns. Well, it's one of the cheapest guns to use. Well, yeah, they kind of match though the stats in a lot of ways. Yeah, well, like we discussed before, every Call of Duty game has one gun that's superior over but every other gun. But superior weapon just so happens to be an SMG, and I think that's because they're so close to assault rifles that it's easy to give them stats that are so great. Well, the 74U in Black Ops is pretty much AK-47. Yeah. And then you look at the UMP-45, that was another very strong submachine gun. Yeah. Call of Duty World, or World at War has the MP-40. Call of Duty 4 had the MP-5. 
So they've all had their dominance. And I go down again here. I revive you after killing that German. I got your revenge for you. You get up. You're packing quite a big weapon there. <laughs> I'm sitting back with the Jews trying to do some damage. Cruising with the MG, look at that. Just annihilating them. Yeah, with such a high round mag, it cuts through stuff. See, it's hard to do that with the bar, because it's only 20 rounds. Yeah. There again, I shoot another teammate. I, I just don't, I don't know, maybe <laughs> not like Russian people, I don't know. I just shot you there. And then we discussed who would take that FG42. I didn't want it. So I you decided. said you didn't really <laughs> want to take it, but you took it anyway. I, 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 then I got hit, I got scared, ran back towards you. You <laughs> said you dropped the MG, so I was like, why not pick that up? So we each have a... also like that, when they do the hardcore guitar strumming. Yeah, it's really intense. I like how they randomly incorporate like hard rock into this game. It's cool though, because it sets the mood, I think, quite yeah. well. I always run too far ahead. There's another Panzer check. I forget what mission it is, I think it's two more ahead. I, I do that. Or I, I do that later on in this mission too. I remember I run so far ahead that I'm actually in their spawn as their spawn. Yeah, and then I'm... You're taking the worst <laughs> of it all because yeah. you're still fat. Taking care of the tanks. I'm throwing Molotovs because I'm pretty much useless without a, a <laughs> rocket launcher in this situation. Oh, and right beside uh, Jibu Mihao is Victor Reznov. He is uh, our sergeant, and is, I'm pretty sure our sergeant is Black Ops too, for a little portion. I don't know if he's our sergeant, I know we see him. No, he's not our sergeant in Black Ops. Um, but then again, if I do recall, at the very beginning, you guys served together, and I'm pretty sure he was. Maybe, I, I don't know. Yeah, idea. I don't really remember. I think it was cool how they incorporated a World War II mission in Black Ops. I really like that, I wish they would have incorporated the weapon in multiplayer. Yeah, that would uh, That's all and I would it, use. Yeah, I'm not like we're not asking for a lot, like just an MP40 or a PPSH. The M1 Grand would be lovely. Or the Thompson. And then here I show the devastating power of MP40, even when hit firing. Yeah. To take out three to four. Oh, they did reloading. It's just I judge my uh, weapons on the reloading. If I like reloading, then that's what I'm gonna use. <laughs> I took my anger out on that guy. He was dead, but I was still hit firing him. You run ahead. I run behind you. I did a few off things this mission. I don't know what I was thinking. I chased that guy out of <laughs> I noticed that. Hide behind the flaming tank. Now when I jumped into this house, I was like, whoa, there's still Germans in here. Yeah, now you're ahead of me. I I call on you because I see a <laughs> Panzer check and I know that that's right up your alley. So. I already had one. So I grab this one, I think, yep. yeah, and assist you in destroying the head. Yeah, that's what you call teamwork right there. Oh, th I remember this part. This was crushing when I played this game for oh, the first yeah. time. I was like, yes, tank is <laughs> over with, so I dropped my Panzer check. I ran right up to the barn the first time, and I was greeted by that thing. Yeah, so you told me, get your Panzer check out and... yeah. Because these losers are about to come through the <laughs> barn with another one. So we're prepared here. Oh yeah, when I first played this, that just freaked me right out. I think, I think the first time, honestly, I got crushed by it. Like I was literally pushed up against the barn door so much. <laughs> and now here we're just swapping weapons with each other. It's, you know, we should be helping our cause, but no, we're just playing with weapons. Why not? I gotta break that door open anyway. And this is where we get first class treatment, where we get to ride on the tanks. Yeah, you don't have to, but uh, why not? Get to hitch a ride. Although, it looks like they seem to be passing us walking. <laughs> yeah, well. This is where I thought, maybe I should take my anger out on one of them. <laughs> it's like, no, it's not worth it. You look pretty badass with our... Heavy machine there. Yeah. Take my PPSH. I need to get your PPSH. Yeah. You're still cruising that FG-42? I don't even know what my secondary weapon is anymore. I tend to switch out a lot, so... And this is where our tanks get attacked, and I'm like, everybody off! <laughs> yeah, get off the tank. <laughs> 
Actually, it forces you off, but... We run towards these dragon teeth. It's more it's ammo. It's funny, though, because in Recruit, you can stand around and browse. I was like, okay, there's an MG42 yeah. here with some wall toss, so I'll take them, I guess. Here we go. Same I don't know why then. I picked up a bolt action. Oh, you wanted me to take the MG. Oh, yeah. And then, uh... <laughs> you start attacking <laughs> that vehicle. Boom. That's you just want to take the vehicle though. Yeah, they get your score multiplied. Oh, totally. I mean, if there's ten guys around them, there you go. There's uh, ten kills like that. I'm searching the bunk guys. I don't know. Oh, I was hiding. Yeah, that was right. I ran out of all ammo, and I was like, Mike, I have to hide in this <laughs> tent because they're hopping off that jeep. This is that part I was talking about where I was behind spawning lines. Now here the most nagged doesn't really have bullet penetration. And then I come to save you. My, go into the tank. Well, I'm kinda tired. Gotta reload. There's another grenade you gotta watch out for. Those bolt actions, man, nothing can beat their accuracy. When you can hit. Nothing can beat the reloading too. I think this is where yeah, I started throwing my little Man made artillery strike. <laughs> Holy. Gets your score multiplier up to five. I actually like to jump on multiplayer and see how competitive it would be. I know in the tank mission it's just ridiculous how many points you can get. But it's uh If done right, yeah, you can do quite well. I don't it, it do things right. It leans towards the second player though, because it gives them a heavy machine gun on their tank. Yeah, the, the tank mission, I think's the next one. Um, it's kind of unfair for first the first The first player gets a flamethrower on their tank, which is cool and all, but I mean, there's no range on that. You gotta get up close before you can do anything. So here I started throwing more cocktails because I thought they were pretty steep. And then uh, the mission's almost over, so... And now we get our victory. So again, uh, hope you enjoy this little tidbit of a video. Watch uh, next time for uh, Mission 5. And here's a pep talk from Reznov, and this is what we'll leave you with.